after watching the uh, video from Saturday, what did you like? Where did you fall right. a little short? Yeah, um, well, the offensively first drive, uh, efficient there, makes a plays, run game and all that. I think overall on the field, I felt like the tackling maybe was better than it, than it actually was. We looked on the tape and missed uh, uh, some tackles that we got to get got to get cleaned up. Um, so it was it, it was an awesome opportunity to just learn, you know, that many snaps, kind of about your whole roster, young to old, kind of where you at, what we got to emphasize this week, uh, schematically, what you know, what compliments and we got to put in and stuff. So we learned a bunch. With uh, two weeks left, where do you feel like the most competitive uh, position battles are at? Mm, yeah, that's interesting. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm quick to say, really, a lot of them. Um, the secondary, thinking about a couple of spots there in the secondary. Um, inside linebacker, I think that's heavy. The second spot next to Easton, probably. Um, there, there's a lot of opportunity on the edge of the defense. We've got a lot of guys we think can contribute, so that's pretty competitive. I think quarterback goes back and forth. Um, that thing's pretty competitive. Um, you know, O-line-wise, you know, I, a lot of these reps these guys are getting, they're making, it's like making some strides, a couple of spots pushing to be in that depth chart so there's a lot is it is it pretty wide open for the two guard spots or uh... yeah that's kind of what it, you know we're just thinking with tanner rotating through there grant stark in a bunch of reps and uh, should even elu the where he's where he's headed and um so that that thing's competitive you know coach uh, people talk about programs getting turned around they talk about what you've done but what do you think of the job brent brennan's done at san jose state yeah really solid you know i you know, knows that place well recruits to it really well schematically on both sides they've established an identity and it, it's played out year after year um does a does a really really good job do you like the fact that they play a week before you so you can see their video or they right. get they get the first game in? yeah there's some back and forth obviously the the look at the video is nice at the same time as first games you're working through some mechanics and hiccups that take place and so they'll get that out of the way so i'm kind of 50 50 on it what are you looking for when you mix up the teams as much as you did today between the first and the second team well just opportunity for everybody and then it's there's the differences like when a guy gets to run with the ones when he's surrounded with some guys that you know a little more experienced or um, execute a little bit better and so there's some opportunities there and we're going to do that the next few days to continue to push you know and try to find some clarity on uh, you know who's, who should be running with the ones and, and that kind of thing which uh, freshmen look like they could make the two deep at the outset of the season at least um you know i think mccoy's doing some good things at corner he can run he's athletic uh did a, had a few nice snaps in the in the scrimmage as a true freshman that's kind of what you i think chisholm's coming along and you know he's he's learning it's moving fast on him but athletically and special teams and stuff i think it's to be a be a contributor he comes to mind uh david wells the wideout part he's he's done a good job makes some plays so collins yeah thomas collins has been around it at the d-line i can see that guy being a part how howard not yet or not yet on on kelsey but he's working yeah yeah and again we're still what is this practice 11 yeah, today I'm just, I'm just saying for the start of the season yeah not, not for down the road, but we yeah. didn't see aiden today is he all right working through a little soreness in his arm and so we just tried to lighten the load uh but he's he's fine should be good to go tomorrow hopefully after a couple of weeks how do you like uh, the depth at tight end what do you think of that group yeah, like that group um i do think we got depth we got multiple guys put in the game you know jack's had a bunch of good catches out here overman steady eddie knows the thing inside now jermaine and riley sharp had some catches today bryce caulfield pushing through with some injury part but um gabe so yeah we got five six guys i can see in the game in there seems like anthony's maybe been a little bit more of the a few more opportunities, a few more throws the last few days. Gould. Was out, yeah, Gould. Was that by design to maybe like, like look to some younger guys early in camp? Uh, you know, and well, he was, he was a little bit limited early in camp too. Um, but we want to get that guy the ball. He can make some plays with him and Silas and Irish. Those guys running around. We think we got some difference makers there. Um, and Ant's gonna have big days because he's he's a really good player. Has there been any uh, separation at quarterback? Not totally. Again, it's day to day, and it's, we're going to be a body of work. I thought, you know, in the scrimmage, DJ did play pretty well, um, but you know, Ben's had some really good days and understanding it. Aiden, when he's been fully healthy previously, like, so not not glaring. Uh, at receiver, the, it looks like one, two, three is kind of probably close to set, but the four, five, and six guys, how how wide open is that? That's pretty wide open. Uh, hey, I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's pretty wide open. Uh, and guys are just getting chances. That's why I'm back to like mixing the teams, running with the ones, and then running with the twos at times, even the threes. Every rep counts, but that is wide open. 
Alton Julian was out there yeah. somewhere today. Is, is he getting more and more, or is he, or is he not – Still not cleared. Not not cleared to be full full, but he's getting some team reps when we're not live, and he's progressing, and we're really hopeful that he can, yeah, contribute this year. This, I mean, you're not super hopeful for the opener, but, but well, we'll see. I mean, again, we're getting almost halfway at camp, and but when he's when he's cleared, he's a good player, and we're hopeful that happens sooner than later. Where, where do things stand with a kicker? The, those those guys were like perfect today again. I mean, that thing's a battle kicked it really well in the scrimmage so I feel like we got two guys right now playing playing well yeah how did you feel like the second team offensive line held up against some of the first team defensive line guys today I mean the first team's had such a good camp but so it's a pretty big challenge for those second teamers so how'd, how'd you think they uh, fared I mean today just walking off I think they had a couple good reps there's plenty to clean up you're right you got to get five guys on the same page working at the same time um, so they're battling and it's good for them to play face that kind of competition and you know, keep pushing with it, and there's a, there's some things to clean up. You were high on the defensive line going into this into the camp. How, how have you felt two weeks in? Just as much, or, or better about it? Or? Yeah, I feel pretty solid. Like I'm saying, the, the experience, the strength. Um, I think it shows up. James Rawls, Sione, even Hodge had a couple good sacks today. Would have tagged off on sacks, and Golden's been steady. And the young guys, Takari's had a great camp. You know, athletic, move around. He's up 275 pounds and playing on that edge. So pleased with him. Anyone, anyone out for an extended period that hasn't, that wasn't, you know, already out for a while. And nothing. No. Nope. So you're pretty good shape. That way. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Nothing, nearly season ending. I'm not even sure we got a guy right now that's for the opener. Right, right. Okay. Hey, quarterback, are, are you looking for? Would it be best for the team if somebody were to just make it absolutely clear? He's the guy. Get behind me, and we're gonna pull the train. Is is that better than than having a close call? I mean, there's, yeah, it's kind of how you look at it. Sure, there's a benefit on the leadership part, um, the amount of reps and timing uh, when you only have really solidified one guy. At the same time, competition, I'm convinced, pushes guys to be better. It's only going to be valuable. Often seasons, you're playing more than one guy because of different circumstances, injuries, and all that, and you want to be prepared for it.